changing windows may seem like an easy task. But it becomes a whole different story when you're dealing with a house that's been built in 1945. Let's see what it takes to replace the windows in such an old house. First step is to remove the old window. This is a difficult task since breaking things is often easier than building them, especially when you have a chainsaw. It took me about 10 minutes to remove old windows, but that was the easiest part. As soon as I removed the windows, I discovered badly rooting locks underneath. However, this wasn't unexpected. It's not the first time that I find rooting locks. The situation was a bit worse than I was expecting. I thought I would just cut out 10-20 cm of lock, replace it with a new wood and then would be it. But not this time. Just a quick note before we continue. Last week we reached a milestone of 2,000 subscribers and I want to keep that momentum going. So please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and leave the comment below. Now let's continue. One lock was really badly rooted. So I need to replace bigger piece of lock and I decided to replace it with a block. I brought in a block and measured how much do I need to cut off. As always, cutting into a lock from the old house is really scary because you never know what to expect. I always worried that my house going to collapse. Luckily, it didn't happen this time and hope it will never does. Once the routine lock is removed, it's time to place a new block. To secure it in place, I use the mounting foam, which acts like a glue and also fills the gap by expanding. First, I clean the area and spray some water. Water help foam adhere better to surface. After that, I apply the foam. Then position the block. And then spray more foam around the block. Since this is in the load-bearing structure, I'm not worried about aligning it perfectly. This block is just to fill the empty space. Now let's tackle the rest of the windowsill. In the shed I found 12 x 12 cm piece of wood that almost fits perfectly. I just need to cut additional 3 cm in depth. This time I made a cut with a chainsaw every few centimeters. And I'm going to use a hammer and a chisel to finish. Now it's time to put wood in place. I follow the same steps. Clean the area, spray water for better foam adhesion, apply the foam, position the wood and apply foam again. After waiting for the foam to harden, it's time to install the window. But first, I need to bring the window from my garage. The window weighs about 60 kilograms and its size it make it awkward to carry. So I'm going to show you an easier way. The easiest method is to remove the glass from the window frame. This makes frame lighter and easier to transport to the installation site and it also simplifies the installation process by handling the frame without the glass. Now it's time to install the window. After placing the frame, I check the gaps around the window and then I made wooden spacers to help align the window properly. Place two spacers at the bottom, two at the top and one on each side. Now I can align the window using spirit level to ensure everything is straight. Then I check the window to make sure it opens properly. If I done everything correctly, it should open without interfering with the locking mechanism. However, even if there is a slight touch, it's not a problem. I can easily sort that by adjusting the hinges. Now that all checks are complete, it's simply screw the window frame into the wall. 
I use simple 100mm wood screws, placing two screws on each side of the frame, two at the bottom, two at the top and two on each side. Here is crucial to ensure that you don't tighten them too much as it could bend the window frame. I will tighten them properly before I put the glasses back in. Now it's time to apply some foam around the window to seal it. That's it, my window is now securely in place. The final step is putting the glass panel back. And with that, we are done. It may not look very aesthetically pleasing with the block and the wood underneath the window right now, but once I complete interior decoration, it won't be even visible. Thanks for watching, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you in my next video.